So if you've uh, visited the site quite often, you might remember a range of gadgets from Vodafone um, called Vodafone Zone, spelled X-O-N-E. It was like an innovation lab, and um, they did kits which attached to your bike and basically tracked where your bike was just in case it got stolen. And they also did uh, this, which has now found its way into a fully-fledged Vodafone product, uh, and it's now called V-Auto. It's got a V-SIM inside of it, and it's basically one of these. It sits inside your car all the time. It plugs into a special socket, which every car has, every modern car anyway, uh, underneath your dashboard. Now, my old car was 12, 13, 14 years old, uh, and I've only just got rid of that, and that had it on there. So, um, you know, even older cars have it too. Now... It plugs in with that and it gets some data from your car, such as uh, uh, how fast you're driving, uh, bits, of, bits of information from the car like G-force, CG sensors. And it, it passes it uh, via a SIM, which is inside of that, to um, the Vodafone network. The Vodafone network then can relay the uh, bits of info to your phone. Or, if you're in trouble, it can do an auto SOS. So it can uh, basically put some information in about who you are. And uh, it can tell your loved ones whether you're okay. Uh, it can also find your car in a big car park. And it gives you a safety score, depending on how much of a decent driver you are. So you go, you can see on the back here, it says Vodafone uh, V-Auto. gives you the confidence that your loved ones are safe. Uh, you and your loved ones are safe. If your car is in a collision, the V-Auto device connected by a V-SIM from Vodafone notifies our trained agents to call you and arrange help if needed. Locate your car anytime, wherever you are, with Find My Car. Encourage safer driving by reviewing uh, uh, you and your loved ones. So, let's set it up then. Easy, easy setup this is. Really easy. So, first thing I'm going to do is plug it into the bottom of the car. There's a little red LED here which will light up when it's got power so i'll do that now okay so i've uh, plugged it in uh, it's really hard to show you but it's underneath the dashboard anyway and it's uh, you can fuck around and find it yourself you fire up the v auto by vodafone app which uh, we've got right here and that will basically um you need to put your phone number in and you need to register so i'm just going to go through the registration screens right now Okay, so you can see how easy setup is. You add your car, scan your device, plug it in and complete the installation, then go for a drive. Now, there is a charge for this. Uh, it's £4 per month for this. You start the setup and you basically tell it what car you've got. So I'm going to go through that when it finishes loading. As you can see, I've got a nice strong um, 4G signal here. So I'll put this in. Unfortunately, I don't have an Aston Martin as much as I'd love one, and that one, and then, so I'm going to give you, right, that's all the details, right, that's my car, so you put in uh, details about your car, and then you've got to put in details about you, which is good, so this is the auto SOS, if you happen to have an accident, V Auto will alert our dedicated call center who will call you and contact the emergency services with your location. Which is good because when you're in an accident, believe me, you're going to be, your head's not going to be with it. You're not going to be remembering stuff like where you are exactly, you know, trying to find road signs or whatever. It's difficult. Uh, so this will do it all for you. It's great. Now, the next stage is to scan the QR code. Now, I'll show you a bit of a problem. If I get the. Um, uh, the V Auto unit back out of the plug that I've already put it into, and I'll show you a little bit of a problem here. Right, so here's the QR code. It's a small sticker on the side of of, of the unit there. Uh, if I try and scan that QR code, depending on how good your camera is and whether it does um, close-ups, uh, it's a little bit tricky to get that. Oh, there you go. See, this camera on this Sony Xperia, very good indeed. Uh, now you can see here it's already in use. I've just got to go through a few seconds because obviously the previous person that's reviewed this has uh, already locked it to his account. So I'm going to uh, sort that one out and then we'll carry on with the review. Right, so uh, I've reset that, sorted that out now. So it's £4 as I mentioned per month or per 30 days. And it says me auto may not, may not be suitable for business users. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So you're going to basically be charged each month. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. 
by the way, that's not my number. This is a um, handset that Vodafone have loaned to me to go um, film this review. So um, don't bother ringing that number because uh, it'll just get through to the next reviewer. So I'm going to subscribe now to this. It's going to confirm the payment and go off and talk to the Vodafone um, servers and set up the payment against my Vodafone bill which is good, so I don't need to mess about with credit cards or invoices or faffing around like that. It's all got to be done. So, um, <laughs> my battery's running out, but anyway, make sure your car is parked outside. Um, my V-Auto subscription there is all set up. I've got the text message. Uh, you'll need a few things, your Vodafone um, handset, your keys, and the device. Installation's going to take 10 minutes. So, I'm going to say start installation. It's going to set up the device. I presume this is all being done on the Vodafone servers because I haven't got it plugged in yet. It's still here. Um, I can plug it in though. Let's do that again because it's now I know where the actual port is. It's quite easy. It's sort of under here. And it says, look, it says, plug V Auto into your car. Use the pictures to find your car's OBD port. Remember to leave your engine off. I'm going to do that now. And uh, there's various pictures. For that yes look see that's usually where it is i'm ferreting right now and you can see on these pictures here um where it is on various cars it's near to your accelerator pedal and i'm gonna pause this video because i've lost mine yeah it was there a minute ago okay so i plugged it in now sit tight it may take a couple of minutes to detect it the app will take you to the next screen automatically. So it's going to get the power off my car. It's going to communicate with the Vodafone network and say, hey, I'm plugged in, I'm powered on. And I don't know if you could see, see the little red light there? That's the red light on the V Auto box. I'm going to try and show you a bit better. Look at that. So we can tell it's on and it's hopefully going to communicate now with the Vodafone uh, network and the service and then it will progress on on this screen here okay we've got some action now and the little red light is flashing so it's running some checks and my white balance is all over the place there we go uh it's going to take a notification it takes five to ten minutes to let you know that everything's set up so it's just going to do that While we're waiting for that to happen, we can go on to full zoom on the camera and inspect a pigeon that is walking along the footpath. Excitement here on Cool Smartphone, ladies and gentlemen. Excitement while we're waiting for the V-Auto to set up. Okay, so we are all set up now. And you can see here we've got a status screen. It shows where you are on a map. And so that anybody could see this, it doesn't necessarily have to be you as long as I've got the app. Uh, you can see whether you're parked or moving. Uh, you've got trips, you can have a look at those. Uh, now I haven't actually got it sort of, we're not moving at the minute, so you can't see that. We've got a safety score, which shows you whether you've been driving like a, a crazy person or you're driving properly. Uh, the auto SOS system here and how it works, we can see that. So, obviously, it detects through the G-Force um, whether you've crashed, and then it's going to they're going to call you up to see if you're all right, and then they're going to contact the emergency services if needed. Uh, this is details about when your net subscription is, the distance, whether you want it displayed in miles, no terms, conditions, privacy, policy, stuff like that. So, let's turn it on. Now, obviously, hello radio, right, obviously this is not going to be very good, so I need to actually do some driving to build up a bit of, uh, you know, some some trips, basically, and some safety score information. So I'm going to do that in the um, next part of this video. Uh, but that's the V-Auto setup, uh, relatively painless, even though um, I had it uh, connected to another account. So we've sorted that out very quickly. Uh, so it's a good little idea, plugs into your car, you forget about it then, and then, you know, if you plug this into your son or daughter's car, they can drive around, and you can see if they're okay, basically, which is really good. Peace of mind, very good. Um, so I'm going to test it out now, and we'll see how it performs. Right, so I'm, uh, well, the currently, my, uh, car is running, 
and we have a status now of course the phone is in the car with me so it tells me where I am and where the car is and of course that's the same place at the moment uh, however this can this phone uh, could be somebody else's phone could be your uh, your wife's phone your husband's phone boyfriend girlfriend mother's father's carers significant others handset and they could see where your car is and how close you are to them uh, perhaps meet you somewhere and you know you can meet them and you can see if they're safe you can have a look on my trips here to see if there's any information come up because the car is still running i don't know whether it's going to show and also the signal around here is uh, isn't ideal so we'll see what that comes up with we've got the safety score and the auto sos so i'll just see if we can get that up so that's not showing anything yet it's the first time i've used it now let's turn right so here i am now i've made the trip and you can see now that i've got wi-fi you can see my trip and you can see how many miles it was how fast i went on average and how long it took to get here so you can see the trip safety score as well if i press that okay so there's a trip safety score at the bottom there and it says 73 percent that's calculated based on how much braking acceleration you're doing and, and cornering uh, the g sensor whether it's been going off all the time and there we go so that's a look around the app